Bonjour and welcome to our new and very French adventure. Stay tuned for some extremely French music, some jaw-dropping French countryside, lots of French wine and cheese, some incredible French cuisine, a very cute truffle sniffer, some very low bridges, cycling, trains and so much more Frenchness than you could possibly absorb, all neatly served up from your very own luxury floating palace, the simply magnifique Amma Christina. Day four began with a spin of the ship and a scenic trip up the river to Vienne. And it was Helen's birthday. As it's Helen's birthday today, we've had breakfast mimosas. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Another year older. Oh. <laughs> Today's breakfast special under strobe lighting, of course. Stupid iPhone. Here's the breakfast burrito. Look at that. Oh, get in there. The cruise to Vienne included a transit through one of the 13 locks on this voyage. Don't adjust your TVs or smartphones. It really is this dark when you transit through a deep lock. This is the view from our balcony. Hmm, never get that sinking feeling. Soon the pretty town of Vienne was upon us, or rather we were upon it. And we all piled off for our respective tours. Good morning. Good morning. From Vienne. Vienne. And happy birthday to Helen. Oh, thank you. And today we're off on a hike. There's only the four of us. Oh, in fact, actually, there's going to be one more joining us. Uh, no one likes the word hike, um, apparently. Uh, they prefer the word walk, don't they? Yeah. Um, so we're so going up that... That we're gonna mountain go up, up there. We're going to go up there, uh, where there's a quite nice viewpoint, yeah. apparently. It's just and a we're gonna... general climb. But we've just got to go back and pick up someone else who's... Are we really got to go back? <laughs> yeah. We're so... actually walking back now. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the ladies that was on the bikes has decided she didn't she like the bike. <laughs> she doesn't like the bike. <laughs> so she's going to join us on a hike. <laughs> so we've now got to just bike go back for and pick hike. her up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, on top of my GoPro suddenly deciding to turn off its own stabilisation, now you can see what us vloggers have to put up with. The excursion was a bit walky and a bit hikey in the end, and we just seemed to keep going uphill for ages. As it was Sunday, all you could hear was church bells and birds tweeting. It was very nice indeed. And soon we were at the top and the viewpoint. Oh, we made it to the top. <laughs> and look at the view. I mean... It is incredible up here. So the two castles were facing each other. It's a bit of a climb, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Early morning climb. Yeah. But, you know, another cocktail tonight. Oh, absolutely. And an extra cocktail. And some more chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> another cocktail. The church was lovely, but hang on, Doctor Who fans. Isn't that, um... No, it can't be. Is it? <laughs> I'm out of here. While at this point we were tempted to use the tiny train to get us back down and away from those creepy weeping angels, we hadn't finished the tour, so we went for a knee-pulverising downward high walk back down to the town. Helen had bought a hiker's pole with her, well, she was another year older today, after all. The town was full of Roman architectural treasures, and the steps of the cathedral were inspired by the annual jazz festival, a two-week annual shindig featuring the world's top jazz artists. With aching feet, we had lunch in the lounge, which is a popular place for lunch, and with good reason. We went for the daily special, a delicious croque monsieur. Proper French, that. 
On board this week were 113 guests with 45 crew to look after us. With 158 maximum guests on this ship, we were lucky enough to have a little more space than usual and the lounge was never busy. It was busy for the afternoon wine quiz though, which was more than just a quiz. It was sort of like a hybrid escape room wine tasting wine quiz logic problem thingy involving all the senses. Anyway, here's a small taste of what we did. So we've got a bit of a wine quiz going on here this afternoon. Thank you. We've got... Thank you. We've got wine in a black glass. We're not allowed to look at the colour. Well, you can't tell anyway. You can't tell. Oh, gosh. You can't, literally can't tell. So. <laughs> it's very clever. You literally can't tell. No. <laughs> mm, it's weird, that. <laughs> What is the colour? You have to say what the colour of the wine is without actually seeing the colour of it, just by the taste. Let's give it a go. We think it's a rosé. Hmm. I'm being distracted by the tapas side. Hmm. No, back to the quiz. Uh, we, have a, we have a map here and some questions. Yes, we do. Mm. Briefly smell and find the aroma of each of these three tiny bottles. Mm. And here goes. Okay, yeah. food of <laughs> washing up. Uh, <laughs> this creates. And this wine is this. How many corks comes from a, in here? A small estate named uh, uh, the mm. Forty-two. What's the answer? It's the answer to life, universe, and everything. Surely. We've got two out of ten so far. Um. Yep, we got two out of ten. <laughs> Our extensive knowledge of supermarket wines was, well, more than a little out of touch here. Still, the evening meal was a lot more successful as we tucked into the superb cuisine. Then, just as Helen thought she'd kept her birthday low key. Happy birthday to Happy, birthday. Happy birthday to I promise this was nothing to do with me. Good breakfast goes without saying on board Ama Christina. It's outstanding in every way. I use three simple but key benchmarks to measure a crew's breakfast. Granola, the presence of, and the quality of. Omelettes, and a bonus point for Greek yoghurt. Real Greek yoghurt, not the sort of sugary imitation stuff. All of which surpassed my expectations here. Hooray! Breakfast is absolutely bang on. Yeah, I feel like I'm some sort of like I feel like I'm some sort of TV presenter because I've got someone talking in my ear at the same time. <laughs> I you just know. take mine out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like get be, on with it. Yeah, get on with it. Must be what it's like to be like a pretty TV presenter. Get on with the next section. Get on with the next section. <laughs> Stop waffling. Stop cut, waffling. Cut to BT. Get rid of this idiot. Get rid of this. Idiot. Shut him down. Shut him down. <laughs> Anyway, good morning. That's you. From, hmm? <laughs> good morning from Vienne. Not Vienna, that's in Austria. Yes. Vienne in yeah. France. Today we're on a, uh, an interesting excursion. It's a steam train through a valley. Is that right? Gorge, I think. A gorge. I don't know. Was we'll there see. a gorge in a valley? I've got no idea. Interesting. Richard likes a steam train, don't you? So. I do like a steam train. Yeah, yeah. I'd like a steam train. <laughs> like I'm some sort, of, some sort of steam train enthusiast. <laughs> no, I'm not. I went on the Flying Scotsman, which you can see a video of, by the way. It's on the uh, it's on the channel. Um, but uh, apart from the Flying Scotsman, no, I'm not a steam train enthusiast. <laughs> 
anyway we'll see how we get on and uh, why don't you come along with us see you there I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. And so we have, I don't know if this microphone works. It might be pretty crap, mightn't it? We've been out on a train this morning and it's lunchtime and I'm hungry, but We've Helen wants to- An hour to... before the ship leaves. So we're gonna go for a Helen quick... wants to go for a quick ride bike ride, ride and I think right. we're gonna buy some chocolate. I'm not entirely sure, but Helen has lured me to the bike. With, cho with the promise of chocolate. On the promise of chocolate. So yeah. let, let's get going, shall we? Yeah. I mean, the great thing about these bikes are you can just ask them and say, can I take the bike out for a little while? And they'll just get a bike ready for you. Anyway, it's a beautiful cycle path. They're really smooth. And we're heading for that bridge because apparently there's a chocolate shop the other side of the river. But again, I think it's a false promise. We'll see. Bridge is so bumpy. Especially when you're only doing it one-handed. <laughs> it's our ship over there. He said, not looking where he's going. Whee! I think it's become blatantly obvious that everything is closed today. Our fruitless search for a chocolate shop. Hmm, I'd have preferred a chocolate vending machine, but you know, this is France, the land of the lovers. We're now in the old town, where the streets have no name. Where the streets have no name. Oh, they do have names. Now it looks to me like we're heading back. Sans chocolate. Is it is sans with or without? Uh, sans chocolat. Avec is with, isn't it? We are not avec chocolat. We are sans chocolat. Oh. Hashtag first world problem. So today we are having lunch in the lounge and uh, there's a daily menu and we've managed to find these lovely little tables that are sort of, aren't they? Look at you look, looking at like you just... I'm going out for a <laughs> anyway, bike ride, I'm hungry. I'm going out for a bike ride and... And I didn't have any breakfast, and remember? you didn't have any breakfast, did you? No, I didn't have any breakfast. So this is cauliflower gratin. We're going to have to start with up here. Pistachio crumble. Oh, it just looks amazing. Okay, just uh, tuck in. Now 
Now, we always said that on our channel, we promise never to show us eating. <laughs> no, go. don't show me eating. Not nice. mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're not going to start now. <laughs> so for our next course, we've got cheeseburger and fries, and this delicious-looking palm ham pizza.